All right, we are back with another CPU mining update. 30 November, bum, bum, bum. What is it, 2023? Yeah, man, time goes by like that, man, goes by. What if Ferris Bueller say, sometimes you gotta get off the train and look around, otherwise life will pass you by. And it's so damn true. So get outside, go do something fun. All right, where are we at today? This is uh, CPU mining. Six rigs, five of which are Ryzen. 9 3900X, 12 core processors. One is a one off 3950, and that makes a little bit more. And they are all running. So, six rigs, that's enough. These are old rigs I've had for the past two years. I did not buy anything new. I'm not going to buy any more hardware. And as I mentioned before, I have dumped a lot of GPUs through eBay, taking a huge hit on eBay fees and dealing with possible scammers. Beware, beware of eBay. But again, Facebook Marketplace, you can go meet someone, they can rob you or stab you. So pick your poison. All right, where are we at today? Uh, current actual profitability. All right, do I have to point? This is old school, man. My stupid Mac doesn't work well, so I'll never buy another Mac again. Uh, Seven ninety one a day. That is uh, Bitcoin, and it fluctuates daily, obviously, hourly, based on the hash rate. Again, I think more people are RCP mining. It may affect the hash rate, just like the good old days. Just like the good old days of Ethermine, where uh, everyone would get on Ethermine or uh, one pool, they get on Zerg pool or whatever, and mine the same coin, whatever, at the time, Ethereum, and kill the hash rate. So you'd walk away with pennies. That's just the name of the game. So this is probably going to peak out. Again, treat it as a hobby. You're not going to make life changing. Uh, wealth doing this the best way to do that as i said before start young index 500 s p 500 fun no cost no transaction fee dollar cost average in per paycheck automatic investments over time compounding will make you wealthy yeah reinvest the dividends as well that's all i gotta say all right enough of that all right where are we at so my total weekly profit, $87.05. Again, that is fluctuating. And it's all tied into the price, the spot price of Bitcoin at the time. What you really want to look at is this little puppy. That's the Bitcoin I've accumulated right there. That's really what counts. And that is your, that's, that's your goal. That's your Bitcoin. It's in the nice hash wallet. Eventually one day I'll move it over to my wallet where it's my keys, my coins. Right now it's in a nice hash wallet. They could just shut down tomorrow and I could lose all that Bitcoin. Yeah, just like BlockFi and Voyager, those good old days. I got mine out in time before the, they all went belly up. And now, of course, Binance is acting up. And I think who's going to be left standing? Uh, Coinbase? Gemini? And I, uh, now Fidelity can buy crypto. I don't know if you can transfer crypto to Fidelity to sell it, which would be, eh, I don't know. I got to look into that, but I'm not going to worry about that yet. I have purchased crypto through Fidelity, a couple bucks, averaging in, like I said, dollar cost averaging is the best investment strategy for any type of vehicle. I'm just, you know what I mean, for equities to crypto, it's just, it's just, you're hitting the prices over time instead of trying to time the market. You're just putting money in and you can say time in the market if you want that old saying. Hey, look at that, 1170 now, see how it changes? Current actual profitability for the 24 hour period is 1170. So if you look at my rigs, you can see the current uh, hash rate, 11.37 kilohash per second, running the nice hash random X Monero algorithm. XM rig I am running on each Windows 10 rig. It's running Windows 10. And if you want to know how to do it, just go to the nicehash.com site. They have all the information you can run on Windows, on Linux, and run their own um, nice hash OS. I'm using Windows 10, nice hash miner, and uh, it works fine for me. There we go, 157 a day. Sometimes these get wonky where you get errors and they pause, and you can always check that on your dashboard. Like, oh my God, the, uh, the hash rate's really low or zero. Then you just go to that rig. Go to that rig, and it may be in a weird state. I just pause it, give it a second to breathe, give it a hug, tell it to be okay. Start it back up, make sure everything's good, boom, back in business. Back in the business of making baby cryptos 
Maybe make, I'm making baby Satoshis. Making baby Satoshis that are going to come home to daddy. And uh, hopefully we're going to see Bitcoin go to the moon. It could go to zero. Who knows? Nobody knows. Not even Bitcoin Ben. I love that guy. Bitcoin Ben. And even that, uh, oh my God. I forgot his name. Paso. Pasovich. Pasanovich. I forgot. He was on. He had a YouTube channel with his brothers. That faded out really fast because they were pimping. They were pimping like Snoop Dogg. The Bitcoin to a moon to 100,000. Didn't work out. Then they kind of disappeared. <laughs> it's so stupid, man. YouTube is the Wild West. So I, my goal, man, just keep it real. Just keep it real in these stupid videos. Maybe help somebody get the right mindset about all this crap. Uh, just for fun. If you're going out buying new CPUs, and that, I don't know, man. Unless you're going to be a gamer. And that, yeah, go knock yourself out. But uh, you're throwing good money after bad. You're not going to recoup uh, your investment. So it's um, ROI. Look up ROI. Go to Investopedia. ROI. Re return on investment. What is your return on investment? Some people say a week. Nah, it becomes never. <laughs> yeah, there you go. And always keep in mind the value of your hardware. If people are... FOMO, fear of missing out in mining. And what happened a couple years ago with the GPUs? My God, you had scalpers. Not even scalpers. There was a demand. People were getting top dollar for GPUs. Oh, my God. It was insane for 3080 Ti's, 3070 Ti's. The old 3060s and the 1600s, blah, 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 blah. AMD 6600. Man, they were getting top dollar. So right now, you, you should like, what is it? When they're blood in the streets or they're greed in the streets, is maybe you want to sell. And when there's blood in the streets and fear in the streets you want to buy. And man, I'm thinking if I got this hardware and people want to mine, I maybe should dump it for double what I paid for it, you know? And at minus the uh, eBay abuse seller fee of 14%. Something to think about. Because look in the old days, a gold miners, silver miners. Who really made the money back in those days? It's the same as today. It's the people that supplied the donkeys, the wagons, the shovels, the picks. The, you know, everything, the buckets, the food, the housing, whatever. Those are the ones that made the money, not the people actually mining for gold. That was very, very rare. One-offs. So maybe back in those days, you know, somebody hit a block and it was a block of gold. And here, somebody hit a block and then they disappear. You know, they made 2000 bucks, whatever. <laughs> so again, remember that history is a great teacher and uh, you can find out who makes the money. It's the people supplying stuff. All right, let's go forward. You can see my rigs here. They're all running 12, north of 12 kilohash per second. Oh, Rocco Taco 9 is 11.96. It proved me wrong, and I admit that. So, and here's the uh, AMD Ryzen 9 3950X. 16 cores, baby. That's better than 12. 16 is better than 12. 3950 is better than 3900. And 14.15 kilohash is better than 11.96 kilohash. So there you go. A little number comparison training for you. Uh, so these little bastards are running. I'm going to keep them running for a bit. Like I said, it, it's been hovering between $15 a day last week. It was a really good. 20 bucks at one time. I was like, whoa, 20 bucks a day. Are you smoking me? And uh, now it's hovering about there. Seven, seven to ten. And it just fluctuates. That's the name of the game. So don't freak out. What you really want to do is the old term is stack those Satoshis. These are Satoshis waiting to be paid out to me. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Come home to daddy. They're going to go into my uh, my nice hash wallet. Uh, so let's look at this again. So here's my uh, Bitcoin I've accumulated in the past week. It equates to 8705. Again, this is what matters, what you accumulate. It's tied into the spot price of Bitcoin at the moment. And what does that mean? So let's see. 8705, you go over to the old investment page, Apple app, which sucks. And uh, Bitcoin is now 37,700. Let me flip this for a sec. Hold on. Make sure I get the most current. So it opened at 37,800. High was 38,140. Low is 37,500. So the price you see here, blammo, this percentage of Bitcoin at 8705 is due to the fluctuating spot price. A Bitcoin, which is here. So what I have no 37,733.95. Blammo. And as that changes, the dashboard will change accordingly. Ethereum 2038, who gives a crap? Litecoin, who gives a crap? I do because I have a bit, bunch of it. I want to get rid of it. And buy Bitcoin. Bitcoin is king. Oh, let's quickly look at the news and we'll let you go. Get back to your work. 
because uh, a lot of people I know just watch YouTube during the day when I was in the office working. It's fine. Who cares? Uh, Bitcoin briefly crosses 38K. I was going to say 1,000, but saying K is cool. Uh, crosses that mark despite more fallout from Binance. That's what I was talking about. From the damn Binance to the uh, older news on Voyager and BlockFi. It just sucks out there. So hopefully some of these exchanges like Coinbase and Gemini will stick around. Oh, and then we have from Apple News. Boo. They're very propaganda, man. You've got a, everything news related. Doubt. And you can verify. Don't believe anything. It's all propaganda. People are easily programmed. That's why people act the way they do now. They're easily programmed. It's amazing. You put this programming into your brain. And, you know, and I'm probably guilty of it too. Whatever they put in your brain, they're trying to propagandize you and program you. And you become a useful idiot. So look, fresh Bitcoin hype shows crypto just can't help itself. So they're kind of making crypto, Bitcoin, it's all hype. Why would Apple News do that? Who's telling them to? And what's their motivation? Are they trying to downplay Bitcoin so they can buy more? You got to look at the, who, follow the money and what's their, what's their ideology and what's their narrative. It's all bullshit all the way down. Do what you feel is right and try to use some critical thinking skills. Dear God, you can watch YouTube, but formulate your own opinion, man. Like, look at this. You know, that's bullshit. Oh, it's hype. Well, no, there's some big investors getting ready to move in. BlackRock, come on, dude. So Apple's a bit, you know, they need to run through their safe space. We'll give them a paperclip to make them feel happy. And then we'll give them a participation trophy for playing as they, in China, you know, keep abusing people and uh, sweatshops. All right, let's go on. CNBC, Bitcoin crosses 8K. CNBC is another shill outlet. <laughs> and that Kramer guy. And I learned, if you want to get wealthy, isn't that crazy man, Kramer? He's just a clown. And uh, do the opposite of what he does. There's actually uh, trackers the, called the Inverse Kramer Tracker. And it shows how you would do if you did the opposite of what that idiot says. Because he was saying, oh, my God, Bitcoin's done like two months ago. When is it? 25,000? Uh, let's see. Where the hell is 25,000? Right? Oh, that's 2023. Before it shot up. Yeah, wait. There we go. 20, there, 25. I remember the little, the little bastard came out. Oh, my God, it's over. Bitcoin. Uh! And then, boom, it starts going up. Bam, 38. Yeah. So do the opposite. Follow the inverse Kramer. You might do all right. <laughs> Not financial advice. Either is his, man. His will ruin you. Holy crap. Oh, my God. So, anyway, that's all I got. We're holding it at 37.7. Just on a kind of little plateau. On the little plateau waiting for something to happen. Maybe Musk will come out and tweet something about Dogecoin and now it'll go to the moon. I just so freaking hate that apart. That part. I hate that part of the crypto ecosystem. One fool can come out and just post something and it freaking causes the price to crash or go up. It's just, it's just stupid. It just shows you it's all psychological. We're all in a game. All right, let's see. That's where we're at now. That's all I got. There's a little CPU mining update. Uh, like I said, treat it as a hobby. You're not going to make uh, life-changing wealth. Because, again, right now it says 87 bucks. Let's get real here, folks. Got to take out my 11 cents per kilowatt hour of electricity. Respect the electricity. Respect it. I've got to take out, oh, oh, taxes. The old Mr. Government wants my money. They want to keep the middle class down. Um, yeah, they want my money. And uh, also, if I move this little bastard over to my own wallet, guess what else I got to pay? Everyone's got their hand out and they want to take the money out of your pocket and put it in their pocket. So the exchange fees to move the damn Bitcoin to a wallet. And then if I have to move it again to sell it, more exchange fees. You get, again, the tax man's making more than you. So get, deal with it. So again, you end up with maybe, so 87 bucks, let's say 10, eight, let's say 80. You maybe walk away. I'm going to say, oh, electricity, I forgot about that. I'm going to be really conservative and say there's 90, not quite half. You walk away with 60 bucks maybe of that, 55, 60 bucks. I'm going to say 55 because exchange fees are all fluctuating. Yeah, it's get, when you get the, the reality check, man, it's like, holy crap. Yeah, exactly. But it's fun. It's a hobby. You get to watch little colorful uh, AMD, colorful LED uh, coolers spin, change colors, and that is worth I think that's worth the price of admission right there. And making videos is kind of stupidly fun. Because, uh, yeah, why not? All right, I am out. Go forth. We'll have a, maybe another update tomorrow. Or maybe I'll come back if it breaks 100 and we'll have a, um, we'll have a Bitcoin party. We'll have uh, Dancing Girls. 
bottle service, and some Lambos come in. Yeah. All right, let's make it happen. All right, I'm out.